The governor's race is extremely close. Nevada Attorney General Adam Laxalt faces Clark County Commission Chairman Steve Sisolak in a bid to succeed the quite popular but term-limited governor there. You can see the RCP average there within one point. We reached out to the Sisolak campaign, didn't receive a response. And joining us now is the Attorney General Adam Laxalt. I should say that the uh, invitation for your opponent remains open, but we'll get to that in a minute. First to you, pick up where the president dropped off here. Uh, how big is immigration in your state, and specifically, what are the issues uh, that as you talk to folks they're worried about? Yeah, the big issue people are worried about is the economy. They want to make sure that we're able to keep this Nevada miracle moving forward. We went to the bottom the hardest, and, and now we've had a a great amount of success yeah. over the last few years and so you know that's what we want to do is make sure that people understand the contrast of do we want to be a low tax low regulatory state or do we want to raise taxes and, and go the way of California and boy, uh, pe people really understand the what's at stake for our state boy as you point out uh, specifically in Las Vegas where you were just got absolutely uh, crushed by the economy where you guys were yesterday with the president you said in Elko there's about a 3% unemployment uh, rate now. And you call yeah. this the Nevada Miracles moving along well. Uh, if things are so great and the economy is going so well, why is your race so close? Why isn't this a, a runaway for you? Well, we're working hard every single day and we, we feel very good about the race. I mean, there are millions and millions of dollars of extreme left outside money from the George Soros and, and, and Adam, Tom there's Stiers millions and millions and, of Adam, you're not answering the question though. There's millions and millions of dollars yeah. of advertising on your side as well. What what's what's the rub? What what are what are people saying the economy may be great, but I'm voting for the Democrat. What do you have to say to them to win them over? Well, we we feel like we are winning Democrats and we're winning a lot of independents and uh, you know, our, our numbers, we, we, we feel very good about it, and, and we, we think that this is going to be a good year for Republicans. People understand what's at stake uh, for Nevada. Uh, the, well, okay, okay. The, the, the poll number, the re Real Clear Politics average we have on the screen uh, has you basically tied. This from Lee Ross, our, our producer on the ground there in Nevada. Uh, day one data from early uh, voting has a roughly 4,500 ballot advantage to Democrats. Obviously, we don't know who the people voted for, uh, but certainly the Democrats, it would appear, is off to a pretty strong start. What do you have to do the next 16 days to counter that? Well, look, having the president come to Elko, where we had almost 9,000 people show up in a very small rural city, you know, to give you perspective, my opponent, as far as I know, has been to Elko, Nevada once, ever, during the entire campaign. The president of the United States came to rural Nevada to tell them that they matter and that it's important that we make sure that agriculture and mining, all these areas that were under real jeopardy under the Obama administration, they've been able to start growing again. And so they understand what's at stake and uh, that, that's what we need to do, keep making sure people are motivated, they understand the importance of this race and understand that there's a clear you, choice.